I wanted to show you guys an in-depth uh, look at the high school one language arts. Um, my son used it this last year and we really quite liked it. So um, first off, I want to explain that the books that I have are not as good of quality as the Hey, I wanted to show you guys an in-depth uh, look at the high school one language arts. Um, my son used it this last year and we really quite liked it. So um, first off, I want to explain that the books that I have are not as good of quality as the ones that you would buy from The Good and the Beautiful. I printed these off myself and um, my son is really rough on them. So they look really roughed up. They're not as nice as what you would get from ordering from the company. All right, so here is a brief look. So it comes with 10 units for your language arts. It comes with a grammar and writing guide. Um, it, it comes with um, a link for the download for the answer key. There's an answer key and then there's unit checks. Um, I combined all of mine together. Um, and then it has grammar and geography cards. On top of that, there are five books that you read. I could not find the other book that he read, Patterns on the Wall, but these are four of the five. So let me show you kind of how it would work when your student is using it. Um, oh, all right, so real briefly, I forgot that you're gonna have to come online. There are a few things that give you the code, the password to get here when you buy the books. Um, there's spelling dictation, an essay feedback form to help you um, with unit 10 and the dictation sentences in case you want to read them. And there's spelling recordings. And then there are vocabulary videos that they need to watch um, or recordings they need to listen to and unit videos. Um, and it tells you the suggested art supplies. So I will show you kind of how they do that. Um, it has help and stuff online too. So I'll kind of show you how that um, fits in with the unit when I get to that point. So first they're going to open up the unit one and all right, so let's jump in. So this is unit one. And again, it'll be much nicer when you buy it from the good and the beautiful. Um, especially this unit one, because I had a crappy printer when I did this one. So it tells you what you need. It gives you how to figure how to the first day, what you need to do. You're going to watch complete the course on this website. Um, and then it gives you ideas on what to do. If you're going to do a regular path or if you want to do the five books in the unit, you need to read that too. And then there's the high school geography and oops, these are poetry cards. <laughs> I said it's grammar. They're poetry. I forgot I'm getting it confused with the lower levels. And then these are just things. All right, so opening it up to the first page, one of the things that they have you do is spelling dictation. Now, if you are not familiar with dictation, what it is is you listen to a sentence and then they need to write it. They're going to write it. Times for this first unit, there wasn't enough room. So he had to do it several times. And then it's going to say, this is what you need to do. During the unit, you need to watch this video. Uh, can Latin roots on two different days and there's two check boxes so you check it when they're done poetry memorization three times geography once okay so then you're gonna read this now they don't have to do this right now they can you're gonna go through it like that just page by page doing what they need to do there is rewriting sentences they have to watch videos of certain things Realized he wasn't ready for it, so we had to do that. So that is kind of how it works. Um, then at the very end of each unit, there is an optional art project. Um, it's not optional in our family. He has to do it. And he actually did really well. I am really impressed with his drawings. So that is the first unit. The I forgot to mention the high school units. Um, these aren't scheduled do lesson one today, do lesson two. This is, they're supposed to know how to schedule themselves. You need to help them with that. We really struggled with that. And so actually on the Good and the Beautiful High School Facebook group, somebody has made a schedule. 
and that really helped us the first couple of units. He was able to schedule out himself for the rest of them, but we really needed that guidance, so I recommend. Okay, so now I'm going to show you unit seven. So um, this is a sample of the schedule that I did that you can't see because he crossed it all out, but we did it in two weeks. So, and I'll talk about grading here in just a minute. These. So when it says geography cards, the Middle East, you need to find the Middle East. Um, it says up here, see, major deserts of the world. Oops, it's on this side. So they're going to, you know, say where's B, and then they have to look over here on that side and say, oh, that's India. Okay, well, what's A? It's... Pakistan. Oh, and I have to say, I printed these as well, so they're backwards from what you would buy. I really recommend buying these. They were a pain to print. I would not print them again. Um, just FYI, if you're going planning on printing, buying the PDF, I would just buy those. Um, and you're going to go through that. There's maps they have to trace. So on this one, he had to trace the map and then label it where everything was. Um, it tells you what chapters of the book. So at this point, things have gotten a little more difficult. The diagramming is a little bit harder. This is an example of an insight journal. This is an essay. There is an essay every single unit. And it gives you the parameters. It has to be so many words. It needs to grab their attention. And you give them points based on, when you read it, how it matches up with these and see the diagramming gets a little more difficult. Like he, ha he no longer has a drawn out thing, he has to draw his own. Um, yes, yeah, just a little more difficult. And again, there is another art project here at the end. I think I showed a picture of this in one of my Instagram photos. It's not, he, it's not in this. So that's a pretty good look at the unit. So now let me show you a little bit about the grading. So here's unit five. Let me see if I wrote in it. <laughs> Some of them I didn't. All right, so as for the grading, when they have finished it, you go through it, and there's an answer key, and I mark whatever he got wrong, and then he has to redo it. So the unit total is 250. The unit percentage is you need to decide the total points by 250. So if he didn't finish all of the unit, he doesn't get 250 points or 100%. Um, if he completes everything he's supposed to, when he turns it in, then these are the percentages. Give them the unit check. This is the unit check. So they have to go through and answer where all of these things are. Where is A? Well, that's in Austin, Texas. He did it backwards. I still counted it. All right, so this is the unit check. Um, he has to diagram the sentences. He, anyways, it's just basically a test. He just goes through and he does it and it gives you the what you need to do so like this one he gets 10 points each or that he does right so there's two parts and i wrote little notes who are you writing to restate the question like that's what i did okay and then which how many points and all of that and then the answer key to the unit checks are given to you as well so you can see what he did um Anyway, so that is a look at grading with the given. Here is a peek into the grammar and writing guide. Um, what this is, is it gives you a list. You know, okay, I need to work on adjectives, rule number three. Go to page 12. And it just tells you the grammar and punctuation. It's just basically a guide. Like, it just tells you where things need to be used. If you're struggling with contractions, you need to come over here and read about contractions. Um, you know, we actually use this a lot. And if they really struggle, it even gives you videos to go to on the Good and the Beautiful website to help them with that. And we use the videos a lot. in my son, other son's in level six. And we actually found this guide quite helpful even for him. So that is a look at that. Um, 
it was kind of hard figuring out the grading at first, I will admit, because, because it was our first time doing it and it's so completely different than the lower levels. We really struggled with the first unit because we just weren't sure how it worked. And I graded him totally different on the first couple of units than on the last units. Um, after using it, I realized how it was supposed to work. And so we kind of wrinkled you know, smoothed out all those wrinkles, but I highly recommend it. My son did some wonderful art. I'll show you some of his drawings. Um, this is a sketch of the boy he was supposed to do and the pineapple. There was, um, some watercolor paintings he did. I couldn't find any of them. I think he must have them in a portfolio in his room or something, but um, you can do most of it offline. There are things that you do are going to need to use it for online. A couple of the videos and the spelling dictation. This is a very easy program to use and it was very thorough. My son's um, grammar really excelled after doing this and especially with the dictation. I had never done that before and that seemed to really help um, him as well. So we're just really happy with it. He didn't think he could draw before we started this program, and he actually can do okay. I highly recommend this, and I hope this in-depth look was helpful. If you have any questions, please send me a message.